The Orphan Brigade is a ghost story set to music. Everything that happened within the documentary happened as stated and is presented without alteration. The documentary follows a group of musicians who spent a year writing and recording an album in the Octagon Hall, one of the most haunted houses in the southern United States. Initially setting out to tell the story of this architectural oddity and the family, soldiers, and servants who lived and died there, the group looked for inspiration via encounters with spirits who had been said to inhabit the hall. They found that and much more. For the first time, the documentary's directors, Nielsen Hubbard and Joshua Britt, will be discussing some of the film's most eventful and intriguing moments. It's three worlds meeting. It's you know a bunch of artists and musicians and you know the history of this really crazy place and then ghost hunters. During the whole time when we were writing, you know, we would be there one night and then they would be there the next night with all this gear capturing uh, things and sounds and taking pictures. And then, you know, as we were there, we started recording and taking pictures of stuff, things too. And we all kind of became <laughs> ghost hunters by the end, I guess. I think uh, a lot of that, you know, the ghost hunter world made it into the music. We, we recorded some of the sounds and used them as drum beats. We recorded some of the voices or used some of the voices that we picked up and put them in songs and then uh, they're on the record and they're in the documentary, the sounds. And there's something about that that, you know, from an artistic standpoint is powerful. Could you tell us about the picture that photographer Jim DeMaine captured of the three main members of the Orphan Brigade in the window at the Octagon Hall? Uh, sort of a local legend that if you drive by the Octagon Hall, you know, you, you look at the, there's these really old, beautiful windows out front, and if you look in those windows, you know, you'll see faces looking back at you. And so we had this idea to sort of mimic that and have members of, of the band look out the window and we, we'd take a picture of it as if we were the ghost, you know. We went up in the window and we kind of framed ourselves in these three panes of this really old, window with antique glass and all that stuff and it looked really really cool and Jim Domain the photographer was outside and he starts yelling at us uh, to not move because there's someone else in the, in the in the window with us you know you have this whole series of, of pictures with nothing and then you start to see this thing it looks like it just sort of steps into the window and it's a very bizarre looking face <laughs> It's in, like, ten of the pictures that he took, and then it just goes away. You know, I mean, I don't know. I don't know how to explain that. I don't know what these things are. Uh, it just, it's the things that happen there, and, uh, you know, whether it's the noises or the visuals of what you see, it's a constant thing that's going on there. And it's fascinating. Yeah. And sometimes terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> Is all this real? It's hard to say or quantify or be definitive about a question like, do you believe in ghosts or are they real? I mean, all I can say is that what we went through was real and what we saw was real. Um, and that the music that we made, that was real and that was a part of that story. This isn't about trying to prove the existence of ghosts or whatever that word really means. I mean. I mean, the ghost in the house really is, it became like symbolic um, to a wide story. I mean, that we're all haunted by the things in our past that we can't let go of. And I think that's kind of what's unique about the house is that it was it's planted in this like turmoiled period of history. And it's like the central figure. And yet it's kind of holding on to all of that like drama and darkness and sadness that was going on during that time. That's what we wanted to kind of go into and talk about. And I think that's why when we dug so deep, we found ourselves in there because those are human questions. <laughs>